So you have a drum app on your DAW like Superior Drummer 3, Steven's Lake Drums or SSD, Get Good Drums and many more and you want to throw in a MIDI drum riff that has been made but you don't know how to do that. So I'm here to show you. What's up everyone, Arvin Kalika here. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to import MIDI files into your DAW. In my case, I'll be using GarageBand and SSD. The MIDI files I'm going to use are from ToonTrack and it's called Matt Garska's Metal Fusion. So Matt Garska is known as the drummer of the progressive metal band called Animals as Leaders. So in this MIDI collection of grooves is for any writer of progressive metal or heavy rock who doesn't mind working with the conventional time signatures and would like to explore and challenge themselves with this type of riffs. So in this MIDI collection of grooves is for any writer of progressive metal or heavy rock who doesn't mind working with the conventional time signatures and would like to explore and challenge themselves with this type of riffs. So that's a short info on what we're working with in this video. So let's get to it. The first step is to open GarageBand and it will prompt you to choose a project. Just select the empty project. Then it will ask you to choose a track type. So we are going to work with MIDI files so we will select the software instrument track and click on create. So it opens up with the track with the classic electric piano track. Since we are working with drums, we are going to change that settings. The first step is to click on the drop down menu labeled plugins in the bottom of the track options. Click on the E piano button and in my case I'm using contact player for the SSD plugin and choose stereo. After that the contact window will open. As you can see I already have in my library the Steven Slate Platinum. So to insert the instruments just click multis and all the presets will be shown. Okay, so let's just choose one preset, like the dry metal kit, and just drag it to the window space on the right. Then it would ask you to replace multi, and just select yes and wait for a few seconds to load. So now we're done setting up the drum track, so let's get down on importing the MIDI files. So let's just close the contact window then open up the folders containing the MIDI files. So these folders have these file names with numbers which pertains to the BPM of the riffs. So this 120-S071 at intro folder means this contains a drum riffs made for the intro at 120 BPM. So let's open that. And what's inside our MIDI files? As you can see there are five different variations. So let's try the first one. Just click and drag to the drum track that we have made earlier. A window will appear asking if we should also import tempo information. Since the default tempo of a new project in GarageBand is 120 BPM, and the MIDI file that we are working with is also 120 BPM, they are matched and we will not have any problem syncing the whole project with the MIDI files. But if you want to use a different BPM, Always make sure that your project's tempo settings are the same with the MIDI files tempo that you are using. So after all that, just click on import tempo and that's it. We can now see the MIDI file on the drum track. So let's go ahead and play it. Then let's go ahead and add more MIDI files. Let's go back to the folders and choose Verse. Choose Variation 1. And the notification will come up again. Just import Tempo. And then drag it and put the files together. Then choose a Fill. Insert again. Import again. Then there we have a Fill. But as you can see, the fills have a 1-8 time signature. So to compose the whole verse with a fill, we have to remove one half measure from the variation MIDI file so we can insert the fills. 
so let's just drag this part of the file to edit its range drag it into this position then we can move the fill midi file at the end of the verse so let's just go ahead and continue to add more midi files let's go back to the midi folder again choose a chorus and choose variation 3 this time and then let's insert another fill let's go back to the other folder choose variation 3 drag and import so just like what we did with the verse in editing the length of the MIDI file this time we have to reduce one measure from the chorus MIDI file so we can insert the fills so we can still have that standard 4-4 time signature on our track now that we're done we can listen to what we have made so far Since we are able to compose a drum riff from the intro to chorus, we can still continue by adding more MIDI files as much as we want to be able to complete our song. We can experiment, do a lot of combinations and sequences, and we can even edit the MIDI files note by note, whichever way we want. So that's it. I hope this video was able to help you in how to import MIDI files into your digital audio workstation and can also help you in composing drum riffs for your song. If you like this video, don't forget to thumbs up. If you have any questions regarding this topic, please feel free to drop in the comments. If you want to know more and get tips on how to record and work with other music related stuff, please subscribe and hit the bell icon so you'll get notified if a new video will come out. So that's it and rock on. Thank you.